My name is Ram Srinivasan. I'm an Agile coach and a trainer. I am from New Jersey. I'm passionate about uh, people, process, products, and I, I'm learning a lot about lean startups. I tried some of these stuff with my clients, and I like the way it works. So uh, today we are going to be playing a game to mimic or imitate some of the things which lean startups do. And uh, each table probably will be having about six to eight or 10 people. So if you're going to be sitting in the chairs there, you're going to be participants. You're not going to be playing the game. So I will leave it up to you to decide on that. Right? So before we get started, how many of you here are product managers or have been product managers? Okay. Okay. How many of you guys have worked in a startup? Okay, how many of you guys have worked in a startup and have managed projects? Wow, cool, I thought no hands would go up, cool. So, our objective of this game is really see how startups work. Uh, I worked in various organizations, big and small, Fortune 500s, I've been doing some consulting for quite some time, this is about me. The objective of this game is to run a profitable business, a profitable startup. Startup is inherently very different from a large uh, organization which has established business processes and a product line. Because startup is inherently uh, very unstable, there's a lot of chaos there. And uh, people really try to succeed with startups, a lot of startups fail. Right? Anybody know of a startup which failed in the recent past? In India? Right? Sorry? You don't hear about one that fails. Okay, you only hear about success. Okay, which one succeeded recently? Flipkart. Okay, yeah, that's a good business model, right? And uh, there was a startup named Dabbleboard, which actually is a whiteboard kind of uh, software for web uh, usage. And uh, they were kind of uh, doing some stuff, and finally they failed. They shut it down, like about uh, six months ago, right? There are there's a history about people starting a business, they have a great idea, they start up, and finally things fail, right? We're gonna explore some of this on what happens through a game, right? This obviously doesn't really cover all the aspects of a startup, including the legal aspects, the accounting aspects, but it's just more about the product development aspect in a startup, okay? Cool, so your objective is to run a profitable startup. I'll be seeding you guys with some initial supplies and we'll be doing some runs or iterations. Right? Your iteration here is different from the iteration term which you are using in your Agile or Scrum processes. Right? Each run is going to be three minutes long and you're going to have a one minute retrospective and you're going to be cleaning up your plays as well. Right? You're going to be working as teams and you're going to be having some constraints. We're going to be having two helpers here, Daval, who will be helping me with something, and Sandeep will be helping me with the supplies. So come on here, each table, grab some supplies. Each of you need one flip chart. One pen per table. One pen per table. One pen per table. One pen per table. You got it? You need flip charts? Yeah. Okay. I'll also be giving you scissors, right? One scissor per table. One scissor per table. Okay, one scissor per table. Right. Need scissors, anybody? One scissor per table. Everybody got scissors? Okay, you don't have it? Okay, cool. It's cool. You're going to be tracking some metrics. Right? You're going to be tracking some metrics. So are you ready to note down what metrics you'll be tracking? You can use spare paper if you want. You're going to be tracking some metrics, which is cost of supplies. Actually, we need some A4 papers as well. It's right there in the back. Yeah. Cost of supplies, your operation cost, how much money you're making, the cost of a rejected widget or bug. You'll be making widgets. I won't tell you what widget that is, right? Revenue, 
which is the money you generate by sale. I have money here. I'll be seeding you with some money. And balance of profit for each of these iterations. Right? So can you give them like four sheets per table? Right? And uh, can you give them like uh, uh, $200 per table? Right? So this is your seed money and your seed uh, stuff. And you would be building something for me. I will be acting as a customer during the game and then move or take on the hat of facilitator after we are done with the game. So you're going to be working together as teams. Any questions on the game so far? Uh, that's totally up to you. I'm going to leave it up to you to decide. Yeah, the cost of supplies is what you're going to be tracking. So maybe you buy some supplies from me later on during the iteration. You're going to be tracking the cost. Right? Any questions so far? I'm going to offer you a tip here. Listen to your customer. I'm your customer. I'm the guy who's having the money. I'm going to ask you to listen to me. Subtle clues on what I do and how I react. Right? So you have to learn that about what I am expecting. Right? And you're going to be building a widget for me. The widget, everybody ready? Right? This one? Balance and profit. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I can leave this on so you can track it. Um, he's going to be uh, using that, and he's going to be giving you the supplies as well. So we're going to leave this slide. Right. Everybody ready? Yeah. We're going to have three minute iterations. And uh, I'm going to signal the iteration by raising my hand. And it's a visual indicator. If you see me raise my hand, that means the time is up. You, raise, you stop what are we doing, and you raise your hand. Got it? You're self-organizing. There's going to be a lot of chaos, but we're going to try and minimize that by visual uh, signals. OK? The widget is something which flies. I'm your customer. I like things which fly. So the widget is something which flies. Yes, you have a question? Uh, whatever you have in your table, you make something for me with that. right? right? So sorry? Uh, you will find out. You have some supplies. You have some money. So you will find out. And you're going to be using a flip chart to track your uh, metrics and not for uh, making the widget. Uh, the iteration is starting uh, right when I say. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I can buy multiple objects. If you make multiple objects, I'll buy multiple objects. Yes. Yes. Uh, you will make a bid, and if I like it, I will pay you higher. If I don't like it, I'll pay you lower, or I won't pay. Uh, you will find out. Sorry, yes. Uh, you will find out. <laughs> yes. I will be buying it from you, yes. Uh, you will find out. <laughs> yes. I'm a widget collector. I'm a widget. I collect widgets which fly. Something that flies. Yes. Nothing else. You will find out, right? You. The goal is for you to maximize your profit, right? And nail down the nail down what I really want, what I'm willing to pay. Uh, we. Yeah, I will buy multiple items. We are starting right now. Three minutes clock is set. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't like this. No, I don't like this. Uh, I don't like this because it flies, but it is ugly. I'm a widget collector. I don't, I don't want to put this on my wall. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't paste that. I don't want it on my wall.
Yes. Ah, uh, that looks interesting. Show me. Yeah, it kind of flies, but uh, yeah, but kind of falls down too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I will. I want something better. Yeah, man, nah, I won't buy that. No, no. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. I'll pay twenty dollars for that. Twenty dollars. Yeah, here we go. Take the money. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure. Uh, no, I don't like this model. Kind of. Mm -hmm. It flies. Yeah, I'll pay twenty dollars for that. Yeah, this one I don't like. I don't like these models. Yeah, I'll pay twenty dollars. You have to give it to Double because he's going to be putting it. Yes, I don't like this because uh, it doesn't really fly. Yeah, twenty dollars. Yeah, give it to Double. Get the money. How about this? Give it to Double. So how about this? So we put, give it the first one. How about this? Oh uh, yeah, this is okay uh, for me. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I'm just kind of having some planes like this. So. Uh, can you make uh, some more of these? Maybe uh, maybe two or three of these. I'll pay twenty dollars. For all of them? Yeah, all of them. Yeah. yeah. Ah, this is. Uh, wow, I like this. Uh, I'll pay you uh, sixty dollars. Oh, nice. Twenty. Uh, Forty. Uh, sixty. Cool. 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 Yeah. Cool. Sixty dollars. Double. This is sixty. 60. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yes, yes. Uh, this one flies, but I have enough of these. But if you make some more, maybe six or seven of them, I'll pay you like $40. Yeah, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. But uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is okay. I'll give you like maybe 20. Yeah. I like this. It's 40 for this. Right. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. yeah. No. no. Uh, this is, uh, yes, I said 40, yes. This is actually okay, uh, but uh, mm, you know, no. How much is it worth to you? Nothing. Look at this one. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, this is something I like. Yeah, nice, nice. Hey, this is very unique. Uh, got some IAF on it. IAF is Indian Air Force. Yes. Okay, yeah, I'll pay you seventy dollars for eighty dollars for this. Oh, yeah, eighty, eighty. Yeah, he's got some design. IAF. Nah, nah. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I like that design. Yeah. Look at this one. Time up. Not buying anymore? Time up, time up, time up. Time up. 60 more. 20. Uh, no, uh, I probably will buy it next iteration, though. Uh, cool. Thank you. Cool. She paid for that? This is uh, 40. 40? Yeah. You have one minute for your retrospective. One minute to get your metrics up and running. I need to see your metrics. I'm not going to talk to you now. Money like this. No, just kidding. Uh, I'm busy right now. Oh. Yeah. So when can we make? Uh, 
um, when the next iteration starts. Next iteration starts? Yeah. So are you looking for such kind of perspective? Uh, I actually have to catch up. You know, I'm a customer and busy. I can't talk to you right now. I'm a little bit busy. Okay. So, okay. I guess ready for the next iteration? Everybody got your metrics? We are starting our next iteration in five, five seconds. Nobody's done the metrics? Did? Okay. Okay. Okay, next iteration starts. You got three minutes, guys. Start your next iteration. Three minutes. Um, you can actually hit in the classrooms. So these I am are high. Used. I see. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, I like the writing here, but uh, I'll buy it if you make it a little bit more colorful. Colors. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, this is actually um, I'm, it's a little bit dirty, but uh, I like the writings though. You know, the design is something I like. Yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, give me some more design, but I don't like the shape though. Oh, you don't like the shape? Yeah, yeah, this flies well. Yeah, I see a happy face too. Okay, that's nice. I like this design though. Okay. Yeah, but I need more colors. You know, so it's more a little, colors? Yeah, I need more colors. No more by this? Uh, I, you should just add some more design. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll start here. Uh, oh, he's customized it. I like it. Man, I'll give you $100 for this. Ooh. So you'd like more and more such eighty. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is unique. I like this. It's a hundred dollar plane. Yeah. So. What would you like to buy? I am kind of liking something which is unique, and uh, so I like this, designs. This is white label. Uh, this is white label. You. No, I don't buy this. We can so. brand whatever way you want. Uh, no, I am. I'm not in the business of branding. I just collect like planes. This, uh, this, this American. I have uh, some designs and stuff, but uh, uh, maybe I'll just buy this for maybe twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah, to 20. You're being so recorded. Ah, okay. Good, 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 cool. Yeah, but it's only black, right? So, yeah, $20. Yeah, just to remember, I mean, Sandeep there has the supplies. Okay, so if you want something, you can go buy, oh. buy from him. Oh, yeah. To $20. So right. colors? Yeah, this is good. So, uh, 20, 20, all these 20. 20? 20s, 20, yeah. Four. Yeah, you four. Uh, but you see, man, I'm just kind of liking these kind of design. You know, he's kind of made up all these designs, kind of. So it is one sample. So next uh, I'll come up with next sample. Uh, yeah, this maybe one. next time. This is a new one. Yeah. How about this? Uh, this is something. Yes. Yeah, what something? You didn't give me the money. Yeah, I bought. How much? Did, <laughs> this so is something. Yeah, twenty. Yes, cool. But oh, cool. what about that? How about this? Uh, this is twenty. Yeah. Okay. So another but twenty. Ask about cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, fly your dreams. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. It's nice. Um, I like this, but I want um, a little bit of blunt edges. I mean, it's a little bit sharper. I'm seeing that people are flying this, so it's hurting them. So I want a little bit blunt edge, okay? So I'll buy it this time for $20, but next time I'm looking for a little bit blunt edges. Right? Blunt edges. Uh, this one I won't buy. Sorry. something that can fly in water. Uh, this, it's called swimming. It's, <laughs> <laughs> or it's called sailing. It's not flying. No, nah, it doesn't work, man. No, 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 no. No, I won't buy this. Sorry. The one with Indian flag. Okay, um, I'll give you twenty dollars for that. But okay. I want all colors, though. Okay. Yeah, get get it to me with colors. I'll give you twenty dollars. Okay. It's a flying uh, You balloon. need to pay me my twenty dollars. No. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a flying balloon. As we discussed, four you like quite No, man. So look at look at what I have. You know, I have, uh, I have beautiful stuff here. That's twenty. Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Look at. No, I won't buy this. Oh, actually, this is different, unique. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't like the sharp edges though. Can, can you make them trim? Yeah, trim. Yeah, trim. Okay, trim. yeah. yeah. So the guys yeah. got mouth and eyes. Okay. And <laughs> time up. Do your retrospective. One minute. Do your retrospective. Time up. I'm not talking to, talking to you now. One minute for your retrospective and getting your metrics. Okay. 
not not right now Do you care about the design? Yeah, I like colors. This is for family. Family. Yeah. No, so for family. Family. Small things? No, man. Uh, uh, how about this one? Uh, no, I won't buy this. No, I mean, how about this, this one? Yeah, um, this is actually different, but no, no. yeah. Uh, yeah, I like blunt edges. I'm saying like you're flying oh, it, it hurts. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, what is this? <laughs> I can put peanuts yeah. and eat in this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. This has some cuts and it has unique, but uh, I'd still like blunt edges, you know. So uh, I'll give you twenty for this. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I like this. You know, like the edges are shaped, curved. Um, I'll give you actually uh, eighty dollars for this. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, eighty dollars. Right. Uh, this is eighty. Right. Uh, you have to get hundred. You have to get hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, get get hundred from him. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, give him hundred. Yeah. Uh, you, 80, 80? So get it 40 from him. Yeah. It's a unique one. Yeah. Yes, 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 so yes, yes. Listen to me. Yeah. Yes, so here's the uh, one. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you no, know, I'm looking for blunt edges. So uh, I have enough no, color. If, if ones? Yeah. So there's a problem with your requirement. Edges, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, there's a problem with the requirement. Edges, uh, I'm a customer, man. Yes, I got the money. There's a problem. Yeah. Sure, you haven't seen so a plane like this. Blunt edges. I don't want that. Ah, yeah, yeah. But I actually need a nice. Blunt tapered edges. If you go for uh, those, okay. yeah. those yeah. blunt edges, cool, cool. Uh, this is okay. I kind of, but I don't like. I have enough planes. I have more beautiful planes. Ram, if you go for blunt edges, airplane. Yeah. Um. No, no, no. Blunt colored one. Blunt colored. Yeah, blunt colored. Ah, can you shape and taper the edges a little bit for me, like make it more circular? Right. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, nice, nice. What about the groundbreaking helicopter design? Will it? Actually, this is unique. Yeah, we are patenting it. Soon we'll be making a final. Product. Yeah, uh, look at this, man. It's unique. This is, um, just as you said. This is uh, 140 dollars. Oh, good. Oh, so yeah, get cool, cool. I get get the money. Yeah, yeah. This is good. This, this is, is good just too. As you said. How much would you pay for that? Uh, I'll buy this for uh, 40 dollars. Are you serious? 40. 40. How about this? Uh, I won't buy this. How about uh, this? Uh, no, I won't buy that. 40. Uh, you promised me 140 dollars. Yeah. Just as you said, one forty dollars. Yeah. Count how much? Just let me count and give you the round. Yeah. Uh, time up, guys. Okay. Okay. Time up. It's one with an American flag. Uh, Why American flag? We just thought you're from the U.S. Seven. Okay. Seven. Okay. Are you done? Uh, iteration is over. Sorry, I can't talk to you now. My iteration is over. Three minutes, time starts now. Three minutes, time starts now. Yeah. So now this comes, what you bought for 100, it comes with customizations. You can change uh -huh. the covers whenever you want with the different colors. It yeah, comes with uh, color but I'm padding. looking for like uh, nice tapered edges too, you know. All right. So, However, uh, our research shows that if you do that, uh -huh. your flying time will reduce by a certain percentage. And your, uh, your, and your I, I, I'm buying it. So. Sorry, How about I want this. this. But you wanted something that flies. Yeah, yeah, I want something that flies. Yes, you wanted yeah, something that flies. Yeah, I so don't like the design though. How yeah. About this? No, man, I need blunt edges though. So blunt edges. Yeah, blunt edges. Right. Yeah. Uh, can you also see if you can shape these things up a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, I mean, but um, it's kind of, it's too small though. Something which flies with blunt edges, probably no edges too, you know, like nice design. Yeah. Round edges. Round edges is good. Yeah. On it. You can, we can customize it to your needs, uh, any, any which way you want. You like your girlfriend on it, you can back. Now, maybe pay $20 for this money. Really? Not, not more than that. Mm. Blunt edges. Yeah. This is a blunt uh, this No, this is not blunt edges. Uh, no, I don't buy that. Yeah, yeah, $20 for this. No, not really. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful blunt edges. Blue windows. What is Blunt edges? Nah. Come on. Nah. At least 40 for it. Nah. You won't get the uh, blunt 20. edges. 20. This is a flying saucer. 20? 20. 20. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah, this looks kind of more symmetrical. I like it okay. to some extent, but it's a, uh, how do you, what is this you said? It's a flying saucer. It it's a flying saucer? Any, it doesn't need any clear. Any oh, okay. 
so it's, it's, okay. okay. Also, you can make uh, you can it, it, it's made with the material uh -huh. uh, wherein you know it, uh, you can use it as a parachute also. Okay. Also. Um, okay. I'll pay you hundred dollars for this. Yeah, right. Okay, hundred dollars. Yeah. Just. Uh, no. Um, uh, it has a lot of edges. I don't like $100. them. Hundred dollars. Yeah, hundred. Hundred. Yeah. Only forty. Yeah, sixty. Okay. Yeah. Hundred. Yeah, actually, good. Okay. Maybe. Nah. Uh, it's okay. I mean, um, suppose I gave you a plate. Would you buy it? Try this one. Nah. You don't have a red plane. Um, but I got similar planes. You no, know. No, you don't have red plane. Wha wha it's, it's completely red. Okay. You, you'll have something different. Okay, I'll pay 20, man. Not At least 40? Nah, 20. Yeah, come on, it's What's red. that? It's a beautiful... You know, oh, it's a widget which flies? Saucer. It's for flying Round saucer? Ah, oh, nice. You can have it as a hat, too, and you can eat food it on it. It flies? It flies. Oh, it flies. Okay. It does. Nice. Oh, nice. I like it. Um, I'll pay $100 for that. Cool. Yeah. Just take 100 20 40 60, 80, 100. Yeah. Would That's you like cool. It? Would you like colors on it next time? Ah, try it out. Maybe yeah. you know if it's good, I'll buy that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I paid 100. Yeah, this this one is 20. You know. Look at this. This. But this is okay. But I'm war, not too sure damage. if it fly. We can try. We can try. Can you try? What war, war damage? Yeah. <laughs> it's an original this world. No, 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 no. No, no, man. I like kind of these kind of stuff. You know, they are actually symmetrical. I like symmetry. Uh, this has uh, uh, nice design too. Some design. Yeah. Hey, this, this flies this, this one. This overs, one no, this no. takes you to space. Nah, 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 you know. won't get anywhere. I'm ready to sell it for two hundred and fifty dollars. Nah, I, I <laughs> <laughs> nah, I won't buy it. Sorry, try some other customer. Original damage. No. World War Two. Nah, nah, nah. Ma'am, look at this. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Are you sure? Don't get it. it for nah, see, you don't have a piece at all. Just see, look at this. Well, why would I buy this? this? See this. Why it's, would I buy it's this? It's a flying thing. Okay. Ah, no, I, want, I don't want that. I want hey. Uh, you already have that, but um, I, maybe you can get some design on this. Like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's, I like this design. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'll pay you... Uh, no, I'll pay you 80 bucks. Oh, yeah. you can be a butterfly. Yeah, uh, I'll pay 80 bucks, for 80 bucks for this. Okay, you can be a butterfly. Yeah. No, I don't want that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See this, man? No, no, no. 80 this bucks. Uh, Get it from something. This one yeah. is the alien craft. The one with multiple no, wings? No, no, this is okay. $20. Okay. Get, get 20 from something. Okay. The one with multiple wings? Alien uh, craft. Nah, I already have some of that. You can be a butterfly, Ram. Nah, nah. No? Nah. No. One no. With multiple I mean, no, like no, you no. Wanted, no. You wanted innovative things. See this? Yeah, actually, uh, I don't know, I have something similar. Oh. You don't yeah, have 20 for this. Don't yeah. Don't okay, I'll get you for $20. Oh, 20 is too cheap. 20. Okay, yeah. okay, I don't want it. Traditional kite. Uh. Which oh! Woo! Nice, nice. Kite which flies. Cool. I'll pay 100. Wow. Thank cool. 100 for a combo, right? Uh, that's what I'll pay. Yeah, make, maybe just make some better design, you know, I like it. So, uh, uh, this is also unique, uh, 100, 100 for that. It's a flying bottom. Uh, <laughs> supplies come from this guy. <laughs> your supplies come from this guy. I'll take it for this time, but next time your supplies comes from this guy, but cool. I'm not sure if it flies. It's called throwing, not flying. <laughs> you said 100, right? Yes. You got 100. 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, it's a happy flying saucer. Oh. No, that's not part of stationery available. Oh, no, it is, actually. Some people are selling it, yeah. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Yeah, no, man. No, that actually violates the rules of the game. You don't see that. He's not selling it. Uh, it's a kind of... Okay, at least 60. Come on. Nah. This one, I'll take it for maybe $20. So, if you were to buy over 200, what would that look like? It'll be really beautiful. I'm an art collector. Yeah. So, um, I really want something... Beautiful, uh, something nice, something which I can put it in my display and maybe yeah. very unique and uh, beautiful, nice, unique. Yeah, very unique. Right. right? Yeah, kind of. It's like single color. I'll maybe if you get me ten of these, I'll pay twenty. I forgot how much did you want to pay? I'll pay only twenty. I have got right. better, better stuff there. See this? Right. How about this same looking plane? Nah, yeah, it's okay. Actually, different though. Yeah, maybe I'll if, if, yeah, probably make twenty. 
Eight. Twenty. Uh, this is actually not too good. I have better stuff than this. The latest design. No, man. I, I already got some. I don't need that. Twenty. Yes, twenty. Twenty. It's not just a flying thing. It's a space shuttle. You can go which, so far out. Which actually, you have to the first space shuttle that came back. The yeah. design is we also very unique. It can actually come back. It can actually. Okay, it's back. a model of a space shuttle. No, yes. No, it really flies straight. No, it's called throwing. Oh, this, no. Really flies? Yeah. <laughs> See, Run. this can also generate Take power. Off. Countdown. It's throwing, man. No, but then that's it's wrong. okay. I think this can even generate power from wind. No, I don't buy that. You know, we are thinking ah. beyond Earth. I'll take it for maybe for twenty dollars, not more than that. A ten more? No. <laughs> twenty. Thank you. This twenty. Twenty. This is a magic. This is also twenty. Magic carpet nah. from the Arabian nah. Nights. No, nah, come on, I don't buy that. Hey. No. No. Ram, you don't have a similar one. No, nah, I have. You don't something. have it. You don't no, have. I have similar. No, you don't have anything which is like. Nah. Look, a, look at this, man. See this, man. You don't have. Nah. it. No, nah, I don't want that. This is twenty as well. This is twenty. You don't want it? No. Uh, that's twenty. Yeah, this is i four. Yeah, 20, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, this is not part of your supply. Okay, how about this? The last one. It's last broken. One. Time up, guys. It's broken. That's how it works. Time up. It's a feature. It's definitely for 100 meat. Nah, I mean, I need, I need some symmetry. I need some uh, uh, beauty in it. Okay, at least 60. Sorry. 60. So nah. Nah. Time up. Time up, guys. One minute for your retrospective. One minute for your retrospective. Okay, we're starting our last iteration. Time starts now, three minutes, guys. Last iteration. That's 20. No, this was 100 and I think. No. I already have a beautiful design there. Yeah. This is something. Nice. Nice. But it's not a widget. Uh, but I'll still. Uh, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll pay you like $40. Oh, it is $100. Yeah. It's a lot of color. I the masterpiece work of art. It stands. So. Ah, nice. It yeah. could be at least with the 60. Uh -huh. That's emotion interesting. Emotion bird with different uh, colors. You can choose your emotion depending on which direction you hold the plate. And How is it going to stick? Yeah. What? Oh, is this a part of the model? Yeah, yeah. It's actually, you can take it off. Are you looking at something? Put it separately if you want. Different into this yeah, I mean, I like softer edges though. Uh, it's still yeah. something which flies. But yeah. I'll take this. I don't need this. I'll take this for maybe $20. $20? Yeah. Are uh, Or different kind of Nah, I'm not into butterflies, man. This is the bird of the bird that, you know, we. It's a rarest bird. No, I'm not into birds. I'm into machines. Yeah, it's just a bird eye. Is this a bird eye? It's a bird eye. I mean, we are emulating the fastest bird uh -huh. that we found some two centuries back, based on the. Nah. Uh, okay. Nah. <laughs> Parachute. Nah. You, know, nah. you can color it any which way you want. Nah. Custom What's colors. this? Kite. Valentine's oh, okay. Valentine's Day kite. Actually, this is different. Okay. Cool. So parachute Ram, we have a smiling kite. Yeah, I'll take it, but I'll only pay it like forty dollars. Okay. 40, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Time up. 120, yes. Okay. So, I was trying to tell you that this is a machine which can fly, which is. Oh. How much you paid for this? 20. This kite? Yeah, I paid uh, 120 for the Valentine Day kite. what the customer was actually wanting, right? I didn't tell you make a plane. I just said I need a widget which flies, right? Sometimes I didn't even check if it flies. 
because I am a collector. You're trying to really find out what is the product which would sell. If you're a startup, you're really figuring out a stable, scalable business model. It's not just a product. It's a whole business model. A lot of people say, oh, I have a great idea. Now I'm going to go do a startup. Doesn't really work. And that's one of the major reasons for a lot of failure is because they say, I got a great idea. I'm going to now build a company around it. I'm going to make tons of money. Right? Doesn't really work. Right? Startup fail for a lot of reasons, including the founders fight. You know, the product is really too way ahead of its uh, curve. Or most often, they actually don't have customers who would buy their particular offering. Right? So these are some of the nine fundamental sins because of which your startup kind of crumbles from inward. Right? One is, I know what the customer wants. That's actually a very biggest one because you don't have a customer when you're a startup. Established businesses have customers. They know the product. They know the offering. Startups really don't have customers. Maybe if you're a domain expert, maybe you have already established relationships. Yes, you have some knowledge about what your market is, whether it's a niche market, mass market, any of those things. But until you really make your first sale and until you establish a scalable business model, you don't have a customer. The second thing is, I know what features to build. Right? If you're in product development, your sales will tell you, oh, I actually need this, 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 this. And so build this. And engineering goes and builds it. And they try to sell it. And unfortunately, they can't. And that's one of the biggest mistakes, right? We all think we have Steve Jobs inside our head. But unfortunately, that's not very true, right? There are about nine other reasons. I'm going to skip some of them. Uh, the slides will be available, and you can check it out. And uh, the emphasis here is we have a fixed plan, so we know what to do, especially the founders, right? So we'll go ahead and do it and make the plan work. And there is no room for learning from your experiments. We don't even experiment. We say like, oh, this is the plan. We are going to do this, and we are going to make money. Right? What happened during the course of your experiment is you learned a lot. Right? You didn't make the same kind of planes which you made in your first iteration. You tried different stuff. I paid higher for something like this, which was unique. And then I started to pay less for it because it's not unique anymore because your competition is catching up. Right? Google came up with amazing Gmail. Now Microsoft's also working on to improve its Outlook experience. How many of you had a smartphone now? How many of you have a smart, had a smartphone five years ago? Right? People are catching up. Right? So your product offerings always keep changing. You have to be very conscious about it, especially if you are in a B2C business. Right? These will be available, and uh, this is actually from uh, uh, Steve Blank's book. Steve Blank is actually one of the uh, great guys in the San Francisco Bay Area. He found about eight startups, and he actually kind of made this as an art, I mean, from an art to a science. Right? So if you were to redefine a startup, a lot of people think it's just a, executing a plan and growing an organization, whereas a startup is a temporary organization looking for not just a product, but a scalable and a sustainable business model. Right? Uh, and lean startup is something which Steve Blank, Eric Ries, uh, Alexander Osterwalder, all those guys kind of formulated it. And they made this, this process from an art to a science. Right? They have some specific formula for you, which you can use if you're doing a startup or if you're building a startup to test the waters, right? You're actually having a lot of hypotheses. That's what we'll talk about. One of the biggest differences is a startup is not a big, small scale of a big organization. Your startup is looking for a sustainable business model, whereas in a big enterprise, you have established customers and established product. So you don't really need that kind of experimenting with a bigger enterprise, right? The slides will be available. And I'm going to skip over some of these slides because we are short on time. We have about three minutes left. Any questions so far which I can answer? 
about startups. Yeah, very true, very true. The very reason is sometimes your customers don't even realize that you have a problem, right? Uh, I'll show you some of the references, and the term for it is early evangelist. Early evangelists actually are people who know that they have a problem and who are looking for a solution and who are trying to patch up something with their resources and available skills to find a solution and somebody who actually has the budget to buy your solution or your offering, right? The way you actually learn it is using a customer development model. You can build startups without actually building a, using customer development model or your business model canvas. But uh, uh, Steve Blank actually kind of formulated this, and he says this, right? Uh, there is a search part of it that's where your startup is, and you are iterating there between customer discovery and customer validation, right? When you are talking with me, you are doing customer discovery. When you are getting your money, you are getting customer validation. If I don't pay for it, no, it doesn't really work, right? And sometimes what happened here was you pivoted. Right? You were making planes initially. You discovered something that I was willing to pay more for something which has a lot of symmetry like this. And then you changed your model. Right? So it was unique. Right? You started making kites and you started making something unique. You pivoted than making planes. Right? Each iteration, you are learning something. The goal of your experimentation is learning. Right? And once you start learning, you actually can move from customer validation to customer creation there you can have a scalable repeatable process right <clears throat> steve blank came up with these 14 items about customer development manifesto and uh, he really talks about using agile development i have highlighted some of these terms uh, he uses, talks about agile development um, and he talks about using a business model canvas for your startups for validating your hypothesis right anybody Familiar with the business model canvas term, right? Uh, what do you know? What do you use it for? Uh, this new product development uh, it, uh, has all the sections uh, like customer relationships, uh, mm -hmm. your revenue streams, uh, yeah. your value creation. Yeah, uh, exactly. Really structure your thoughts around how to make it. Structuring your thoughts around it. It's just a, a graphic organizer. I'm going to skip over all these things. Um, and uh, the major thing with business model. Uh, canvas is it's not just about an idea it's not just about a customer channel or it's not about a customer segment it's about everything right running a business includes your cost structure your revenue structure your value proposition which is the most important thing what value do you deliver to your customer right and key activities resources and partners too right Maybe you are actually a startup. You need to partner with other organizations because you really cannot offer the whole enchilada. Right? So the one thing which you're trying to validate in each of your iterations is, is my hypothesis correct? So your business model canvas usually looks like this. These are actually sticky notes. It's like a nine feet by five feet canvas with sticky notes all over. Right? And the reason why you're using a big visible chart like this is because the vision is very clear to everybody in the organization. There is no confusion. Everybody gets the big picture. Right? And we talked about, or we saw that uh, startups, their job titles are very fuzzy. Right? So it's OK for a developer or uh, an engineer to go and talk with the customer as long as he understands and he gets the big picture. Right? One of the best examples I have seen is uh, some organization called the Library Corporation. You know, library is actually a dwindling business, uh, especially considering Wikipedia and uh, internet and uh, online books. And uh, this Library Corporation actually kind of makes an uh, inventory management system for uh, school libraries and uh, colleges, right? So their business model was dwindling, and they had to really reinvent themselves. And they actually did it with. Uh, a lean approach using business model generation and lean canvas, right? So uh, you can go and Google there, and they have an excellent uh, understanding about their customers. And the beauty is, in that organization, developers have Slack. 
And when we say slack, that's non-productive time. They're, they have about 50% slack is what Simon Marcus told me. And when you have slack, that actually gives you the ability to experiment, right? You can do a lot of experiments. You can do some A-B testing. You can do uh, multivariate cohorts. You can really figure out what the customer wants, right? We're not going to be talking about metrics though. I'm going to be skipping all these slides. Uh, running an experiment, this is what we did. We called it a run. It's an experiment. You don't really have to build a full-fledged product. You can just have uh, videos, just like how uh, Dropbox was a video. Uh, initially, you can have paper prototypes. You can even have landing pages on SEO, SEM. SEM is probably the uh, most easiest thing. You pay a couple of dollars, you can really see how much traction you have for those keywords. Right? I'm over time here. I'm going to stop here, but I'm going to, this is something, I'm going to move to the references. Um, I'll make the slides available for you. And uh, this lean startup model is not just used for software uh, organization, it's also used in hardware. Like there's a company called Lit Motors based on San Francisco. And uh, what they're actually building is that they're building a motorbike which is gyroscopically st stabilized, right? Uh, the previous slide was supposed to be uh, the beautiful picture, but it's not showing up. What you really see here is a very lean version of their motorbike. And what they actually do is they are taking orders. Some of the slides that you saw here is this is actually by uh, James, uh, the art of uh, agile development. Who's the author? James Shores, right? He actually is doing some test-driven JavaScript development. He's validating what he's doing right or wrong by crowdsourcing it. You can go to Kickstarter.com and you can see how many people really want to contribute to the project. So yeah, there are multiple ways of validating your idea, and if you can sell your idea much before uh, you really get true customers, it's a great thing, right? I'm going to give you some references here. The Startup Owner's Manual is the second book by Steve Blank. It's a great book. If you are a startup, it's your Bible. If you're running a startup, it's a Bible. Uh, business Model Generation is what you saw, the Business Model Canvas. Um, uh, Roman Pitchler also has a product canvas. It's just a visual organizi organizing tool. So you can use the canvas any way you like. Uh, Ash Mayura modified the canvas too. So see what fits you, right? And uh, the famous book, Lean Startup by Eric Ries, right? The game which we played is also available online uh, by Andre Don. I learned it from Andre, but we modified it a little bit. He did it with snowflakes, but uh, I'm doing it with airplanes here, or a widget which flies. And uh, you can go to Udacity and also learn about startups. Uh, Steve Blank is taking a course there, right? That's it, folks. Any more questions? Any questions at this point in time? Thank you.